All right, how's it going, Reef Keepers? So today I have the uh, showdown between the Refi Uno 2.0 Pro, and which are my new, my new lights, my new three primary drivers across the top of the tank. And then you can see on the left, I have Jerry rigged up uh, one of my previous XR15 G6 Pro uh, Ecotech uh, Marine Radeon lights that I had on the tank that I replaced. So you can, you can see that this one is much brighter, uh, the Radeon is, because I actually have cranked this all the way up to 100%. And I'm going to show you, just so that you understand, that we are at 100% on all channels and 100% intensity. And it's important that you guys see that because that's the irrefutable proof that I'm running that Radeon at 100% on every single channel as well as 100% intensity, and that's gonna be the head-to-head -head comparison. I actually do not have the Refi Uno 2.0 Pro cranked up that high yet. I'm going to crank it in a couple of minutes after we test the Radeon, because I know that it is so powerful from people like Telegram who have you know utilized this light. I want to avoid cooking the coral over here on this side <laughs> for more than you know, a couple of minutes. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are with like, you know, slamming the coral with high intensity out of nowhere, but like, I don't want to do it for very long. So, um, I have here for this test, the, uh, Vibira, um, par meter that I got some time ago. And notably I got the version that has the, uh, clear little sensor pads on it, uh, over the, um, you know, little sensor nodes which means that my unit was before the quality kind of faltered a little bit, unfortunately with this company. Um, but my unit to put it in comparison, um, this version of the Vibira is within like a 5%, I think it is differential of like the higher end, um, the higher end par meters that are sold by like BRS and such. So, um, this comparison, by the way, is a little bit flawed because the, uh, Refi Uno 2.0 Pro is in fact uh, capable of uh, creating more intense light at a much better spectrum than the Radeon XR30. And I'll remind you that the Refi Uno 2.0 Pro comes with a three-year warranty out of the box for $480. So for less than half the price of an XR30, you're getting a stronger light that generates a superior spectrum and has a three-year warranty behind it, which to me is crazy. Oh, and not to mention Wi-Fi, right? So I'll sh the settings for it are right here. And this is this is Wi-Fi connectivity that I've got this uh, these settings up on. So yeah, it's uh, in my opinion a much better deal. But let's, for comparison's sake, as you can see, the form factor between a Radeon and one of the uh, Uno 2.0s it's much similar. Like I think for most people, at least the way I thought about it was it's going to be the, the Uno 2.0 versus the Radeon XR15 because they are generally, I mean, you can see the bodies of the two of them. They are generally, you know, kind of like the same form factor. It's a, it's a black, it's a, it's a black box in square format, right? It's not like a super long light, like an XR30. Um, so there's a little bit of spread differential, um, but as far as intensity goes, I'm going to show you here, you know, the difference, right? So let's go ahead and uh, activate the PAR meter. Here's the PAR meter right here. You can see it's getting a little residual light. So like if I raise this up, PAR is going to start going up a little bit. So I am going to go ahead and what we're going to do is you can see the light right here, by the way, as you can see, because of how I had to jerry-rig it, uh, the XR15 has definitely a boost up on the Uno 2.0. And that's intentional, because I want to show you guys that even with like, you know, four or five inches, even hanging it four or five inches lower, I want to show you the differential. So, all right, I'll show you where I am putting it, right, right about here, right about the top of the scape, dead center under it, okay? We are getting about, I'm going to show you right here, 
right underneath of it, okay? This is actually above the top of the scape. We're getting about 280, 290, 300. I saw 310, 315 is the highest I've seen now, right? Uh, 310. So I'd say 315 max, right? Dipping down into the high 200s. That's where, that's, <laughs> that's what we're getting, you know, this far under a Radeon XR15 G6 at 100% intensity with all channels cranked, right? Now spread is a different deal, just to be, you know, for full disclosure. Um, I'm not sure of the spread on the, um, on the Uno 2.0s. The spread on a Radeon G6 is pretty darn good. Um, the uh, manufacturer of the Uno, uh, Refi Labs, they do state that, I think they state on the website that it's perfectly adequate spread to cover a, a two by two area um, with an Uno 2.0. And I totally believe that. Like I, I see it lighting that much. Um, and the Radeon, I forget if they, they really harped on spread. That was like their big upgrade to the G6. So I forget if it's 30 by 30, 24 by 24. I'm not really interested in spread in this video, but I'm just letting you guys know the Radeon does have decent spread, right? I apologize for the shaky camera, but uh, you know, I gotta do this somehow and it's hard to do everything with one hand. So now I am going to go ahead and go all channels full on this. So I'm gonna drag the sliders on here. I'll show you what I'm doing. Drag the sliders to full, right? This is gonna be uh, this is gonna be hot on these corals for sure. Makes you know makes everybody nervous to kind of do this kind of thing. I also don't know how great it is for the light to run it at a hundred percent, but uh, so I'm gonna do it very very you know I'm just not gonna do it for long, right? So all right, we're going we're at full intensity on all channels. Move this over. Let's go ahead and restart the par meter. So we have that nice backlight. All right, here we go. You can see the appearance of it. Much brighter now. Um, kind of hard to pick up on the coral uh, lens, but let's go ahead and I will actually go lower. I'll just kind of lean it on the rock. Hopefully my power head won't blow it away. Let's, let's lean it on the rock right here. Here we go. 533 is the highest. 555, oh, 570. Uh, yeah, and by the way, there's a lot of water movement right above it. So you're getting anywhere from like 480 all the way up to, I just saw 579. Yeah, 583. So as you can see, like basically we could like low ball average 500 for intensity, 500 par that high above the tank. And if we come down here to the Radeon, you see... Look at the difference. This is a uh, Refi Uno 2.0 right here. Look at the look at the difference that I hung these at. So on my podcast, when I talked about you know how like Ecotech for five hundred and thirty dollars they're selling this light, and they decided to well Aperture decided to really phone it in and basically say, we're going to just keep the same exact form factor, the same exact everything. And we're going to go ahead and pump this light out with like the latest updated diodes that are available and then push the diode board closer to the lens underneath so that the spread is crazy. And we're just going to hype, 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 hype spread. This is what I'm talking about, right? It's, irrefutable, right? I mean, like the difference is the difference in strength is night and day. So for $480, you're getting low ball estimate, all channels cranked 500 par right there. And you know, at a way greater distance than this. And I even lifted the par meter, the, you know, sensor up about three inches above the scape because it was easier for my arm. So People who have started to complain, especially like coral farmers and like high-end SPS growers who are like, the G6 really, you know, is not what I expected in terms of like downward force intensity punch. Uh, yeah, clearly it doesn't compare, right? It just, 
it doesn't come close to comparing to what the Refi Uno 2.0 Pro can put out in terms of power. Now, this is known stuff, guys. Like, this is not like some, you know, oh, wow, you know, Kalamazoo Reefer discovered a revelation. Like, it's not, it's all known. I mean, Telegram's put this through all of its paces, right, with higher-end equipment and much more, you know, like, controlled environment. He's done it without water and shimmer and everything in between. And, you know, he's, he's you know, has a much better, uh, a much better, like, setup for experimentation to establish this sort of thing. But I'm just telling you, right? Uh, this is like, this is the difference in intensity between these two lights. It is vastly, vastly different. And for $480 and a three-year warranty and Wi-Fi connectivity and that kind of intensity with a far superior spectrum, uh, I'm unsure besides hype, besides corporate hype, and sponsored reefers constantly talking about the Radeon and obsessing about the Radeon and pushing it on everybody and making it popular, I'm con I'm confused why people would pay $50 more for a Radeon X XR15 than a Refi Uno 2.0 Pro. And additionally, I'm even further confused why people, if they're looking for, especially for intensity and, and like quality spectrum, why are they paying over $1,000 for an XR30 when the Refi Uno 2.0 Pro even kicks the XR30's butt? Uh, it's time to stop buying subpar lights for the money, okay? It's time to start making Aperture and Ecotech and AI and Neptune and all these guys start actually working to provide products that are worth the money, right? Because that right there, in comparison to what you get for $50 less, both in terms of features and actual capability, that right there is a pretty weak light. Have a good one, guys.